Folks, I hope you guys are enjoying your November. Um, I want to thank you for the groups who participated in our Thanksgiving baskets, those turkey baskets for his harvest stand. Uh, we're counting up all those baskets coming in right now. Um, and I just want to thank you for uh, showing uh, this community the love of Jesus Christ and the way uh, you provided for those turkey baskets. So I'll have a final number for you guys next week and some winners uh, of those who uh, really stepped into that. Uh, but I want to give a quick recap of this weekend. Uh, we had Pastor Bob come in and teach on honesty. Um, and we talked about what truth is and how there are times that where we, where we should give our honesty in a different way, right? We all have those moments where someone asks our opinion in something and we have to choose, am I going to be honest in this? Or how do I be honest in this? And I loved how uh, Pastor Bob walked us through those six things, those six characteristics of the way that we can be honest with people and the way it's peace loving. And we'll, we'll get through all those uh, different characteristics in the group's questions. But I think it, it really has taught me a new way of how we can still show the love of Christ through the honesty that we have. Um, and it means... Our word means a lot, right? We've talked about that in this whole series um, and being honest in our word and finding what truth is, right? We, we rely on the scriptures. We rely in the gospel to be our truth. We don't, we don't listen to his truth or her truth. It's the gospel. That is what we believe and that is where we can find truth and we can live out our honesty based on the gospel and the words that we have in there. So excited for that teaching and it was great to have Pastor Bob I'll speak on that, and I hope that your conversations today um, are really beneficial. And I want to start with uh, kids. If you got kids in the room, uh, leaders, grab that sheet, and you can walk them through some kids' questions. Otherwise, adults will jump right into questions. Question number one, uh, how did last week's challenge go on not boasting, right? We talked about not being proud. How did that go um, for not being proud and not boasting? Number two, I want you guys to think back to the last time uh, that you were dishonest. What were the effects of that? And how did you feel after you were untruthful? Proverbs 16 verse 13 says this, Kings take pleasure in honest lips. They value the one who speaks what is right. Um, the question in, in this is, if we understand the importance of honest lips, if we understand what that means, how do we use our words in a way that is right? I want you to start out by reading James 3, verse 17, um, and take special note of the six characteristics in that about what are wise and honest words. What you read are those characteristics that come in um, about honest words, that they're pure, they're peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, and impartial and sincere. See, this week, Pastor Bob explained that there is a difference in how we speak truth and how that comes out of us. It can either come with love or without love. Here's the question in this. How can we be truthful, but still show God's love using these characteristics? After this teaching, we know that honesty is more than just telling the truth. It is Christ's wisdom flowing through us, um, through our hearts, into our lives, and then through our lips. 
What situations in your life have you lacked honesty? And when has been a moment lately where you used honesty, but maybe it wasn't in Christ's wisdom? I want to end today with the challenge for this week. Um, And it's really simply just to avoid lies and be honest and allow allow your honesty to come through Christ's wisdom and have that come through your lips. Uh, If you guys have time, if you want to dig a little bit deeper, I encourage you to look on the back of the page. Uh, It looks into a story where two people were very dishonest and the results of that. And I think it's pretty interesting to unpack what, what that means. So if you got time, check that out on the back. Otherwise, can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a great week.